here you got a Subaru. Yeah, me too. Are you wondering which timing kit to buy? Are you tired of wondering what other options you have besides the actual Subaru OEM tensioner? Are you tired of back alley tensioner deals? Hey there, little kid. You wanna buy some tensioners? I get it. Not everybody's made of money. Even though some Subaru owners seem to think that you have to have 10 grand in your wallet just to own one of these things. I highly disagree. Today we're gonna step into the controversy surrounding the timing tensioner. This little guy? Don't you worry about this little guy. I got you covered. And this timing kit, which for some reason, people really don't seem to know about this particular kit. That N is pretty important. So let's get into it. All right, so we're down here at the local parts store. We had them order in a tensioner for us from Gates. That way we didn't have to wait for it to come from Rock Auto. And we're about to open it to compare to the same one that we got out of TCK304N. This is just a, a Gates timing tensioner, okay? So this isn't coming in any special kit. This isn't specially ordered to be Japanese or anything. As you can see, it's just a regular part number. I'm gonna pop it open here. Okay, one out of the box, one we brought here. As you can see, they are identical. You wanna get a close up on that? They're both the NTN pulley, okay? And we've got the tension, the Pull tension the housing is exactly the same as well. I can zoom in. So basically what we're discovering here is that um, th this NTN tensioner is actually from NTN. I called Gates, talked to your representative personally, and he had let me know that what the deal is, is that Subaru asked NTN to stop producing the exact same OEM housing because they have a patent on it. So NTN actually came up with their own housing and this is what they sell out of their box. This is also what they sell gates and this is anyone else that's gonna get an NTN tensioner. It's gonna look just like this, even if it's in a gates box or, or whoever, it doesn't really matter. So that's something that we found out. I'm gonna play the, the audio clip of the phone call and then uh, we'll resume this back at the house.
Welcome back, everybody. We're here at the house in the garage, and we got the Forester in front of us. So what we were comparing while we were at the parts store was this is the OEM tensioner that came out of this EJ251. Okay, and we have the OEM tensioner from the EJ253. And this one's an 08. This one is a 2000. If you'll notice, the casting on these are different. They're both NTN. Um, I do want to note that this casting has actually got a lot of uh, bad sand and whatnot. It just looks like it, it, they didn't really take care of the casting. Looks like it was kind of rushed out. Not that that matters, but the point of what I'm getting at is that these two are different. You can see by the little circle there and the circle there being the most noticeable, as well as the actual prints of saying J uh, Japan, NTN, and then the designation of when they were made. Those are different. So with that in mind, we're comparing it to the new one that NTN sends out. And this comes with the TCK304N kit. This one, as you saw from our last clip, also is the same one that comes in the Gates kit by, or the, uh, the Gates box by itself. So if you were to order simply a Gates tensioner, it's gonna come with this housing. Now, uh, if you did listen to the audio, you're gonna hear that we talked to the Gates representative and he told us, which if you didn't hear it, I'll tell you now, the NTN had, was asked by Subaru to change the casting because Subaru owns the patent on this actual NTN you know, logoed housing. So this one here actually saying NTN at the bottom. You're not gonna see that on NTN's um, wholesale part, I guess is what we're gonna call it. It's the part that they actually sell. So if you were to buy it that came in an NTN box, this is what you're gonna get. Gates is gonna have this one. Everybody and their mom is gonna have this particular tensioner housing. So unless, I mean, you really want it to say NTN on it and be exactly like OEM, which as I've shown you, the casting has changed. So that's showing the NTN has actually changed the casting as well, multiple times over. Um, this is ranging from 1997 to 2014 motors. This is a pretty important deal because you got people that are claiming that the Gates tensioner is failing at 10,000 miles. We don't have any proof of that. Nobody has shown us on the clock or whether or not that they uh, bled the tensioner properly. So I know Luke at Subaru only has been doing that. We've been keeping track of his miles and uh, we're kind of steady watching to see if he has any issues from the basic Gates kit. This one here, as you can see on the designation, is going to be TCK304N. The N designation is going to mean that all these pulleys are Japanese. So this one here is going to be an NSK pulley. This one here is NSK as well, and this one should be Koyo. Yeah, Koyo. So these are all Japanese pulleys, and this is all from a Gates kit. So it's, uh, I wouldn't really say it's buyer beware, it's just uh, buyer be informed. If you don't want to get any Chinese stuff, make sure you get the TCK304M. Also, massive shout out to Luke at Subaru Only and Ivan at Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. Had those two not made the videos they made, I would have never thought to actually go through with this, let alone to film it all and to give you guys the information I was able to get. So take care and thanks a lot guys. I really appreciate what you do. A few afterthoughts while uh, after filming all that, I wanted to make sure to add that if you were to go online and actually try to buy the tensioner from NTN, like the actual NTN box, the ones that I showed you today that are new from Gates are going to be what you get. Uh, I'm, I'll put up a couple screenshots I took where I found that the boxes and then the open products next to them. Uh, I'm not going to just continue to buy more junk just so I can show you guys. If anybody else goes through with that and they want to post a response or something like that to let us know exactly what it was that they got in the NTN box physically, but I can show you what the screenshots are from like eBay or whatever. So uh, I hope that kind of helps clear that up as well. Hey guys, if you found this video informative in any way, please make sure to share it. We need to get this out to as many Subaru owners as possible. From 1997 to 2014, a lot of EJs that could possibly be having some poor timing kits on them, and a lot of people having misconceptions about what the NTN tensioner is in its entirety. So, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to support us, and we hope to make more informative videos as well as just keep showing you what we're doing. Take care.